Indosa, is India's one of the largest manufacturing company in educational science and laboratory equipment. It has a wide range of equipment for making science learning fun and easy. Indosa van de Graaff Generator Kit offers a unique way to study the static charge related experiments and discharging effects. Following items are provided with this kit, Van de Graaff Generator Base Unit, Big Dome, Box with Accessories, Power Cord, Discharging Sphere, Plastic Stool. The accessory box contains all the needed accessories. After opening the box, you can find that the list of all the accessories are also provided. These accessories are stored in their respective slots within the box. Following accessories are provided. Perspex jar with balls, point discharger, needle, Faraday's pail, perspex pillar with suspended sphere, tester, thread brush, nylon thread, neon bulb, pointed wheel. Star base, electric chimes, flexible leads, stand rod. Experiment 1, Accumulation and Discharging of Static Charges, Items Required Van de Graaff Base Unit, Big Dome, Discharging Sphere, Neon Lamp, Power Cord Step 1, Place the Van de Graaff Base Unit on the table Step 2, Identify the two components of the Van de Graaff Base Unit, Motor Unit Covered by Black Metal Cover, Pillar Unit Step 3. Now, within the pillar unit, locate the metal bush of the metal bridge which is fixed with the acrylic pillar as shown. Step 4. Now place the aluminium dome on the metal bush of the metal bridge which is fixed with the acrylic pillar as shown. You may need to apply some pressure on the big dome so that the dome fits tightly to the metal bush. Step 5. Now locate the 4 mm socket provided on the black metal cover of the motor unit, of the Van de Graaff generator base unit. Step 6. Now pick up the discharging sphere unit and locate the 4 mm plug, of the discharging sphere unit at its one end. Step 7. Now insert the 4 mm plug, of the discharging sphere unit into the 4 mm socket, provided on the cover of the motor. Step 8. Adjust the distance between the big dome and the discharging sphere, so that the distance between these two are approximately at 25 to 30 mm apart. Step 9. Locate the power input terminal, provided on the motor cover of the Van de Graaff base unit. Step 10. Connect the mains lead to the power input terminal of the motor cover. Step 11. Connect the other end of the mains lead to the AC mains where proper earth terminal is available. Step 12. Assembled picture of Van de Graaff is shown. Locate the power switch on off button provided on the black metal cover of the motor unit, of the Van de Graaff base unit. Step 13. Switch on the Van de Graaff unit by pressing the power switch button on. Step 14. When a charged conductor is touched internally to the spherical conductor, the whole of the charge is transferred to the outer surface. Step 15. Switch off the Van de Graaff unit by pressing the power switch button off. Step 
16, locate the 4 mm socket at the top of the big dome, installed into the previously assembled Van de Graaff unit. Step 17, hold the bulb from the top, don't touch its metal part, and insert it into the 4 mm socket of the big dome as shown. Step 18, switch on the Van de Graaff unit by pressing the power switch button on. Step 19, the bulb will glow demonstrating the conduction of electricity through gas. Note, the glow is best viewed in dark room. As shown in the assembled picture. Step 20, switch off the Van de Graaff unit by pressing power switch button off. Step 21, remove the bulb and the discharging sphere unit from the assembled setup. Step 22. Store the bulb into its appropriate slot within the box. Experiment 2. Corona discharge. Charge accumulate at pointed projection and then, leaks because sigma times r equals constant or, sigma proportional to 1 over r, where, sigma is the surface charge density and r is the radius of curvature, that is when r is small then sigma is large. Step 1. Assemble the Van de Graaff unit as shown in figure. Step 2. Locate the 4 mm socket at the top of the big dome, installed into the previously assembled Van de Graaff unit. Step 3. Pick up the point discharger and locate the 4 mm plug, of the point discharger located at one of its end. Step 4. Insert 4 mm plug, of the point discharger into the 4 mm socket of the big dome. Step 5. Switch on the Van de Graaff generator. Step. 6. Bring the metallized ball, suspended by a thread from insulating rod, near the pointed end of the point discharger as shown. It will be deflected very strongly. You will notice that the ball is being deflected very strongly and it will be impossible to accumulate any charge on the dome, while the point discharger is still kept connected to the dome. Step. 7. Remove perspex rod with metal lizard ball away from the point discharger needle. Step 8. Switch off the Van de Graaff generator by pressing the power switch button off. Step 9. Remove the corona discharge needle from the big aluminium dome. Step 10. Store the corona discharger needle and the perspex rod with metal lazied ball in their respective slot within the box. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit us at www.indosaedu.com.